Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to make a well, we are going to make a to-do list application in Python. So for that we'll um, for that we are going we are going to start right now. So let's begin. So we are going to import the OS because we need for this. Okay, okay we I'll just check that later. But let's write the code first. So we are going to define a function over here. Oh wait, my bad. Yeah, define a function like add task. So uh, yeah, add task. Then we're gonna write in bracket, of course, task. Then uh, uh, you're gonna write task. Uh, sorry, I'll write task. Sorry, my bad. Description. Uh, oh yeah, I'm right here. Okay. Description. Now we're gonna write the due date. So for a to-do list, of course, you need a due date. So yeah, uh, so we can have an idea of time. So after adding the task, we're gonna write task dot append. Friend, then we're gonna write in we're gonna keep a bracket. Then this we're gonna keep curly brackets or parentheses or keep description. Uh, yeah. Okay, adding description then we're gonna keep a colon. Hmm. Then we're gonna write description again. Then we're gonna keep a comma and we're gonna write again. We're gonna write due date. Due date, okay. Then we should okay, so sure, okay. Uh, yeah, due date. Then we're we'll write the column again, then due date. Due date. Yep. Very good. Now we are done with this. Let's start another define let's define another program. View. View task. Huh? View task. Then we will write task. Okay. Then oh my bad. Yeah, I keep it calling it. Yeah. After if not task, then then we're gonna write print. No task found. By the way, this code is going to be in the description, so don't worry about the. I'm not going to provide a code. Okay. Then we're going to write else print task. Mm -hmm. And if you're one of oh wait, what happened? Yeah. My computer is uh, okay. If and print uh, idx, you know, write idx over here, and comma, task in enumerate, okay. okay. Then we're gonna write task start equals one, okay. I'm gonna write Okay, okay, I have the right idea. Okay, I understood. Print. Okay, print. If we want to keep F string right now, so we're using the F string. I'm going to keep some curly brackets and we are going to write IDX. Okay, of course, IDX dot. Or can I do our area? And again, give, uh, give us some curly brackets. Tab. Tab. I'm gonna give some brackets again. Okay, not curly brackets, sorry. I'm gonna give normal brackets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Write description. Okay. Ask description. Mm -hmm. We're gonna end it uh, without curly brackets. Then we're gonna. Okay, this might have come accidentally. Yo. No. Yeah. And minus due date. Okay, just remove this one. Okay, yeah, due date. Columns. Then I'm gonna write um, task. Then this task. Then first we're gonna write curly bracket after, I mean, normal square bracket. Then I'm gonna write due date. Okay, and now we are done for this line. And let me just check if I can not make any errors in this. You can make a lot of errors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to define another task which is getting this big. Dev delete. Okay, so this is we are going to use this one for deleting that task. Of, of, course, of course, after making it once we are done with that task, or we have postponed or we have done something with it. So we're going to delete that task. The task and task underscore index. Yep, we did this. Yeah, and now if, if one uh, greater, uh, uh, greater or equal. Uh, 
Так. Так, и next. Тут есть Gradle Equal. Gradle Equal Length. I'm going to begin this now. Yes. And now let's try to go. Del. Task. Task. Then we're going to keep some square bracket. Then we're going to write task. As you're going to write task index answer. Yeah, task index. Minus one. Yep. Then. Uh, after that, we should write a print command. Say indicating. Uh, task. Deleted. Successfully. Oh my. Okay. And now we are done. Now we now we will use the else command. Else. Print. Invalid. Task. Index. So. Now we are going to make it like that so it should create a file example now usually when you close the program uh, in this it's going to forget everything now we don't want it of course we want to save the task what we keep in the computer so we are going to create a way uh, we can save that on a notepad file or a text file to save it so we are going to write a task save to file yep. and task um, task file path hmm. this Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Um, yep. I guess I'm doing this for it. So now, now it's open. File path comma and you need this W. Mm -hmm. Then we'll write as F. Okay, great. For task. For task. In task. The task and task f dot right. Hmm. We're now going to keep an f string over here. Um, so give us a curly bracket. Task. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't like sound weird? Like every I'm just saying task, task, task for the last I don't know, like five minutes something. I'm not even checking my OPS. Yeah. Task is the bar. Description. Description. I made an error, right? Let me check, guys. Then we're going to keep our curly bracket set. Okay. Then we're going to. Okay. Okay. After we're writing description, then we're going to keep another bracket. In ball. Square bracket. Then we're going to keep a curly bracket. Then we're going to write task. Hmm? Then after that, we're going to give another break bracket and write due date. Due date. Yep. Uh -huh. Then we're gonna write okay, then we are done. We're gonna give it slash n. So if you don't know slash n makes it to come so it may it it comes on a new line instead of printing it on the same line. Okay. Then we're gonna name it uh, give it another command. Uh -huh. So I'm just giving you an update that this is almost done. There are like more couple of lines you have to write. Load up from let me just put that in both case from uh, file. Okay. Then we're gonna keep it in this file path. File path. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna write start equal to this bracket over here. Uh -huh. Then we're gonna write if OS path exists. Then we're gonna write file. File path, okay. Mm. With open file path, then I'm going to give path. This is used to keep the file, so keep it a double bracket mm. as else, okay. Mm. Okay, one, well, my bad, I wrote one of here, so let's open. Mm. Oh no, okay, let's work. Now let's work. Yep, okay, now let's go to the next line. For so line in F, description. View date equals from view date. Then we're gonna write line strip. And we're gonna write split. 
and split we're gonna write and we're gonna keep this vertical line it's known as a module hmm, in math you know what they call it on the computer math sorry does append yep then we're gonna write okay this is a big file we're gonna write description then we're gonna write a column then we're gonna write description then we're gonna keep a comma and we're gonna write new date and yeah we're gonna keep this in open quotation then we're gonna write a column then we're gonna write new date Okay, all good. Now we're gonna write return. Mm. Return. Mm. Return stuff. Good. Now we're almost done. Couple, uh, I have like 20 lines more, then we are done. We are done. We're gonna keep the def. We're gonna keep the main. And so there's nothing inside this. The task equals to the first bracket again we're giving. Mm. Then we're gonna write file. Uh, Mm. We're going to create this file path, so we're going to name this file as task.txt. We're going to write task equal to load the task file, and we're going to give the file path. Perfect. Now we're going to write, we're going to while true command, while true. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to write print, uh, we're going to write slash n, slash n, or oh, option. Okay, great. Then we're going to print another thing saying mm. one add task. Oh, mm. Alright, we're gonna say pick two and we're gonna write view task and print three and we're gonna write this as um, delete task and print four and we should keep this on um, exit, we can keep it exit. Mm -hmm. So, show we're gonna give it a, another variable called choice equals input. I want to save it into the input. Hmm. Enter your choice. Hmm. So we need one slash two slash three slash four. Close the bracket. Boom. Done. Now when I write if choice equals one, hmm. okay, maybe I should name it right. One. Then description equals hmm, input. Enter the uh, Okay. And view task equals to. Uh, I'm going to give another input command. Since input task, I'm going to enter due date. Due date, perfect. Now I'm going to give the third one add task. I'm going to give it task from a description. Comma, um, due date. So we're going to keep it in the file. And um, okay, that was not going to keep in the file. So we're going to gather it up. We have task to the file, mm, task, and file part. So we're going to keep in that file. Wait. Now we're making some. We're making a lot of progress. Now we're going to keep ls. Okay. ls choice was equal to two. Mm. And we could have said in description. No, we have to say view task because it was view task. And then task task and like. Yep. Done. ls choice mm. okay three oh wait my bad three yep then we're gonna write um mm. view task mm -mm. view task task view mm. task then task task on the four index and we're gonna write the integer here in and gonna do some brackets mm. and we can just input I'm gonna write uh, enter the mm, task index to delete. Okay, right. And now we should go to the and then I'm gonna write another one delete task, which means task and comma in task index. Perfect. Now we are gonna have to uh, and, and save task. We're gonna even save the file. So if the file was so this is gonna update the file with that. So task. And comma file part. But it should. Now we are going to get to, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Now we are going to go, get our final one. And after this, we are almost done. And you can check, check the program. Mm -hmm. Four. And that is uh, print exiting the program. Okay. Now we're going to exit. And then we're going to write a break. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to put the S command for this. I'm saying then invalid choice please try again. Okay, so we're almost done. We have actually done this. Okay, perfect. Uh, all is ready. Let me just complete this and I'll be right back. Okay, bring them back. Okay, okay, guys, let's run the program. I've got nothing by time. I have some problems, but my interpreter is not perfect. But let's see. I think so. VS Code will work. Let's run the program and see. Okay, uh, okay. So just ignore the top part. This is just my computer, some problem. It can't run. Anyway, options. Add task, view task, data. We're just going to add a task right now. Enter the task description. Okay. Upload this video on YouTube. Okay. Due date, I should probably upload it by 28. If I did not upload it by 28th of, of July, correct? Uh, and a few days is not the same. Please give me a check. I'll just update this and come back with you all. Okay. I'm back. So we just started again. Uh, I have updated the program. It seems there was some problem with the due date. I did not write any F13. Anyway, we're going to write add task. Um, upload this video. Uh, uh, this video on Roadblock. Okay. That sounds good. And the due date, I should upload it by the 28th of July. I'm just making sure I should, I hope I should upload it by then. Okay. We are done. So it should be, be there by the due date by 28th. So let's add another task. Um, what should we keep the task? Mm, so let's say, okay. Mm. End this video, okay. End this video in five minutes, okay. And five minutes, okay. So now we're gonna now we're gonna end this program and rerun it and check if it's working. And do the back and okay, running. Okay, let us view our task now. Yep, in speed out now we have got our task over here. Mm. What upload the task and now let's try to delete this task, okay. So which one do you want to delete? Let's probably delete the second one. And yeah, delete it. Now let's exit this program. And yeah, we have ended. Thank you guys. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And I should, uh, I hope I come back again earlier in the next video. See you guys later. See you guys.